It's currently 10, 12 p.m. And this is what I have so far of the Leprechaun styrofoam drawing for Dad for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, for this, for his Leprechaun styrofoam drawing, Dad said he wanted it to be mostly dark slash navy blue. Yeah, by the time I finished the hat, which uh, I started this styrofoam drawing, I think it was in the afternoon of today. And when I finished the hat, Uh, by which point, um, it was around the time I had the rice with cream of broccoli soup poured over it. And in a way, kind of mixed into it. By the time I finished the hat, I sort of had a kind of thought that the shades of green now this color that shade of green in a way, due to priming, makes me think when it's all combined together that these can seem like sort of kind of shades of green. Even though this is a yellow Sharpie marker and the other a dark blue Sharpie marker. Uh, these are some of the Sharpie markers I used. And this one, too. Only it was at Mom's place when I colored the front and back of the hair in. I haven't done the sides of the hair yet, because for that... That'll require drawing in the ears. I was at Mom's place and used a used two red Sharpie markers. It was very early today when I at last finished the leftover cake from Mom's birthday party at, at a home of a family member on her side. And even all those days later, the cake was still pretty good. It was still delicious, and uh, 
It didn't seem stale at all to me. Over a number of days, I had been gradually eating the leftover cake. Since Mom wasn't eating any of it, generally two pieces at a time. And that stayed the case for today. It was early on today from the early morning to the morning hours of today that I worked on the 99th Dan Hamming episode by, and I think that process continued on into noon, or even by extension the afternoon. I made, I finished my efforts at color corrections for that original car backseat custom prop. I think I ultimately settled on something that was pretty close to what it was originally. That is based off the custom prop for a car interior backdrop prop in the name of consistency in my mind. <sighs> Oh, yeah, I didn't think there were more upgrades in store for this armory. Uh, the only reason for me to upgrade this armory is so I can increase my production of orcs. I'm plenty I have plenty of coins and supplies for which I'm very much grateful. And my work on the 99th Dan Hamming episode also included Using a hospital cur the hospital curtain prop within Vion Studio to create a custom prop meant to depict one of those shower rods. or more general purpose curtain rod that you hang a curtain from in order to make it easier to move out of the way and back to its default position. Whenever doing so is desired.
I ultimately uh, settled on making those circles after I had used a I used a color picker tool to determine the color I made the curtain I made the area within the holes the same color after uh, painstakingly touching up what couldn't be removed through the transparent background tool on Lunapic. I removed what I needed to remove with the eraser tool. And that process took me more than an hour of time. And following that, Yeah, you know, then ultimately decided to make the replace color areas inside the circles transparent by using the transparent background tool on Lunapic and changing the transparent area option to the transparent color option. You know, that way, the circles will hopefully be consistent with the coloring of the curtain. To ensure that no area inside a circle was two different colors within the curtain I had to make some adjust adjustments from what I had planned initially for that custom curtain rod prop yeah, but I ultimately managed it though I think by that time it was the afternoon and I decided You start work on Dad's Leprechaun Starfoam Drawing. Uh, for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, he's not supposed to see any of it until it's finished I don't think I'll be able to finish it today but I should be able to finish it for St. Patrick's Day After all, it's a fairly simple design, uh, the ultimately one I happen to like. Uh, 
I put these shoe buckles on the front, but not on the back because putting them, putting the shoe buckles on the back too, like I did the previous Leprechaun styrofoam drawing. It didn't seem to make much sense to me. Since the back of the shoes... Uh, that's where the heel is supposed to be. And I think putting shoe buckles on both the front and the back... in a way made the two sides look the same. Yeah, so it ended up being a mistake, but... I still enjoyed making that. Star from drawing, and I'm enjoying making this one, too. Yeah, my legs are currently a bit sore from yesterday's walking trip to Wegmans in order to return some container deposits. It was about two miles if you count the walking to Wegmans and the walking back from Wegmans. Uh, since uh, Wegmans, our local Wegmans is about a mile away from Mom's place. All right, very glad to be able to do this. It's currently ten thirty-nine p.m. I just noticed that uh, my fellowship has started a message thread I think it was around based off the information I can gather they started it at around Eight in the morning of today, but I didn't notice that message thread until just about now when I intended to donate this uh, one knowledge point I have to another fellow ship member to one of their ancient wonders. Yeah, most likely I was going to donate it to uh, the top ranked members 
Golden Abyss, Ancient Wonder, since uh, that's where I've been putting a considerable amount of my knowledge points into lately, since you have to be pretty concentrated in your ancient knowledge point donations to other people's ancient wonders if you want to get to the top helper positions and ultimately get uh, rune shards for that particular ancient wonder. And so yeah, my fellowship started a message thread and celebrating me reaching 100k ranking points in Elvenar. Yeah, they all said some pretty nice things. And that included the Arch Archmaid Archmage of the Fellowship. Well, there's some pretty nice messages and It was a nice touch that, though not much in the grand scheme of things, it really does help to make me feel that I'm part of an actual fellowship now, instead of merely just belonging to a fellowship. Hey. <sighs> I was the most active in my previous fellowship, and as such, with just me contributing, yeah, we didn't get that many rewards from. The tournaments, the spires, and the fellowship adventures from those events. We didn't really get much. But now, in my current fellowship, we're all getting quite a bit. And for that, I'm grateful. Although the Archmage did at one point recently say that they would like me to be more active, presumably that means more active in the chat. And which, yeah, that's understandable. I'm just not used to, really used to using the chat functions of Elvenar. And also, this is, this game was made by Inno Games. They're currently trying to persuade me to join their new game, Sunset Valley. <laughs> they have a welcome gift included. And the thing is, I'm not really sure what to make of. This new Sunset Valley game. And 
as Dad was taking me to his place, uh, there was a point in time in which we considered doing some driving practice at the high school parking lot. Uh, but it ended up having quite a few cars on that parking lot. Most of the spots were still empty, but uh, for me, the parking lot has to be pretty much empty. Otherwise, there's too much of a risk of accidentally hitting a car because uh, I'm still just a beginner at driving. I'm just learning.